Oh man, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And my camera is messed up once again. Let's get that fixed real quick for you. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are back as my green screen is still half showing, but it's all good. We're back. That's all that matters. And here we are, IVRL qualifier number seven. We're back at it. All the lobby issues have been resolved. The match generation is back and brand new. And as you can tell by the scoreboard, we have Prism versus Meow Pew Pew. And I, I'm going to have to get out there and say it. I, I took this matchup, I think, because of just Meow Pew Pew. I just wanted to say Meow Pew Pew a bunch of times on stream. Da meow, Dobby? Meow, pew, meow, yeah, exactly. Pew, pew. It's been a long uh, transition here. It's been a little while. We've been uh, trying to stay busy in the background here. Let me fix my camera for you guys so you don't have to look at all that nonsense. There we go, there we go. All right. Let's jump into the gameplay, folks, and that way we are ready when they get in here. We're starting to see some of the Prism folks jump in, as we do have four on their side as can tell and you know we're still playing Suna that is what's happening um, in the qualifier Suna is the only map that gets played in the qualifiers and best of 21 first to 11 wins um, first round is going to be a pistol round and then after 10 rounds they do a side swap where the offense becomes defense defense becomes offense and they have another pistol round to start things off um, other than that there's a uh, you know, no point system in the guns. There's no economy. Um, so you can load up two frags and a rifle that you choose or an SMG and smokes or uh, flashes, however you uh, like to set up that utility. Uh, but, man, we had a first round of some good action there from NFI and some good grenades and stuff, Dobby. But that's all null and void right now as there was some glitches in the lobby and uh, everything's kind of been reset. We're starting fresh, clean slate. Um, everybody's zero zero again. Zero, zero, back at the top of the order here, as it looks like. We're going to start getting people in here, and we're going to get ready for our, our game here. It looks like it's going to be a different team, but that team that we did see earlier will get their running back, which is um, it's good because, I mean, they started off with a 4v5. One of them was AFK. The other one ended up being AFK for, like, one or two rounds, and then it finally, one of them ended up DCing, but then they finally had their 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 entire uh, team finally really come back and do a clutch. So they was able to, you know, pick it up in some way, shape or form. But now finally, as we're about to get ready yeah. to lock in here for our first game, it looks like uh, they will have their chance to uh, do it again. Yeah. And I really excited. Uh, the fact that, like you mentioned, uh, the one team, uh, I forgot who it was, but they had the, uh, like you said, the uh, disconnect and the four, uh, four V five the whole time. And hopefully they, you know, got that squared away and everybody's back in for a full setup. Obviously, we're not casting them again. So, uh, but yeah, I, fortunate for them, they get a redo. Starting. And we're starting back at it, man. Hype it up. Back to some Veil action. Back to a full 5v5. Let's take a look at those lineups once more. Rusty, Vanny, Skullhawk, Retro, and Skibo are there for Prism side. Sheldarino, Gargabot, Anthony, Klebaka, and Bone Chop for Meow Pew Pew. Looks like we're going to be back over here. It looks like smokes are going to be coming in from a uh, crate and near alleyway, blocking that entire section. Full 5e squad. Looks like it's going to be heading towards A site. As it looks like the first smokes are going to be coming out for the opposite team here as they're going to start pushing in Sheldorino. Looks like he's going to be the first brave one to push in. Skullhawk knows he hears the footsteps nearby. He hits those shots, but is unsuccessful in hitting him. Shell looks like he's going to be able to find Skull. Yanni on the back stretch, though, of crate. Looks like he might be able to find him. Anthony coming down long here. Vanny actually does have, have no idea. Anthony might be able to clutch up at least one pickup. Rusty's able to get two, but it looks like Van Anthony is going to get round shut down loss. here. And it looks like a round loss for the first team colonists. Clutch up round one. Yeah, very nice. That's a way to keep up with the action, man. There was a lot going on. Uh, a was just happening there. Lots of action in the tunnels. So much action happening there. Wow. It looks like they're going to be able to rack that up as well. But they're going to be able to run it back for round two. Yep, does look like the offense is going to try that A side once more again. Sheldon Reno, man, he is full joystick forward. And he was the first one to push through the smoke earlier, doing it once again yeah. as he is moving quickly on the long side. Uh, Skullhawk holding down tunnels with a pre-defensive smoke. Vanny in the back of long A once again. 
Clay Baca and Bone Chop sitting in the tunnels just waiting for Rusty to possible peek again. Long shot on A from Anthony taking down Vanny. And the turn, but Skullhawk there waiting for it. Beautiful shots coming in. It looks like Anthony and Gargabot is going to be heating off of long here. Let's see. Looks like Retch Gargabot gets shut down. Anthony's going to throw that nade right over. Nice nade, but sadly, wasn't anybody over there to catch that fine forward. Nade's going to come right back towards that section. As it looks like Skibo is going to try to find a see if he can get a peek here. Anthony backing off towards Round the best off. section, but he does get shut down, though, by Skull. Skull's going to find it. Yeah, beautiful job by Skull there as he yeah. recognized somebody on long A. Decided to make that rotation around, threw a grenade, looks like it landed short, and picked off that last kill. Get ready. Looks like we would go back towards top of the order here, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like uh, looks like it might be a four push all the way to B side here. Anthony Bone Chip, Clay Baca, and Gargabot. Rusty is going to throw that smoke off of mid here. Rusty might be able to get a first peek here. Let's see if he's be able to peek it out. Yes, he does. Rusty's going to be able to get the first shutdown. Gargabot is going to be able to get an elimination off of B, but he does have that middle side open. Rusty is going to be able to hold middle side to himself. He's going to be able to find his third. Rusty, absolutely going insane here. Question is, can he get a 4K? Looks like he's, he's going to have a nice peek. And wow. He, just, he doesn't even know, and Rusty's going to shut down a 4K off mid. Crazy flank by Rusty. What great shooting. As Sheldarino Ooh. all by himself in mid now. Sheldarino picking off a few. Going to see Rusty. Rusty cannot. Sheldarino, who is this guy? Just taking him out. Sheldarino shuts down the ace. Coming in from Rusty. Rusty getting that kill off of Sheldarino would have been his ace. He did catch 4K here. But now, is this Sheldarino's ace? Could Sheldarino actually clutch this for an ace? And look at those kills. Sheldarino's got three, this, three so far. I don't know if any came from last round or not, but... Uh, does he have four? Looks like he might have three here, so it could have been the three, but look what he's going to Oh, he's got it! Down, Skull! Shell the Reno put a bullet in Skullhawk there, right in the skull. Wow! All right. You can tell this is going to be good. <laughs> yeah. Some real good action to start things off here on the first couple rounds here. Uh... Shell the Reno taking off there and just shutting down once again. Like we talked about, Rusty's major flank and just a 4K. I mean, he was dominating there for a while. Probably took some damage, and that's why Shell the Reno was able to even get a little bit of a kill on him as well. Was able to find that peak and that fix here. Was able to do a pretty good job of that as well. Got to give it up to Rusty, though. Almost clutching up that ace. Would have been one of the first aces we've seen so far, at least from my side. But Rusty coming back up top is going to be able to get the elimination. Anthony picks it up for Retro as well. Beautiful shots coming in. It looks like center is going to see a whole lot of action as Rusty's able to get a second off of this round. Skibo picks his one up off of Aldity, and so does the rest of them start to really fall down as Sheldorino down inside of Skibo. It's going to be able to shut down Sheldorino here. A pretty good job of that. There's so much action happening. There so is. many. And I mean, there, like you mentioned, there's so much action. It was so quick. There's a lot of aggression on both of these teams. And neither one of them are allowing any of the other teams to set up anything. It's just full push here in the mid. There's a lot of action in the mid. Um, when they do go B, they go full B long as uh, full force. I mean, B long. No waiting. But they're going to have to do something with Rusty in the middle. He's really just uh, dominating these guys in the mid. Looks like they're able to patch this together here as they're able to do a pretty good job of that here. Looks like four is going to be heading north town towards B. Rusty, again, in mid, is just the mid control of this game. Rusty is controlling this mid like he belongs there, clearly, yeah. as now people are just scared of peeking. Bone yep. Shot's got a decent one, but Rusty's going to back out of this. He knows they're probably peeking it off of this really tight corner here, and it's probably smart for Rusty not to be able to do this, as Retro's going to be able to get the elimination off of Gargo. Oh, beautiful Nate comes in, almost hits Rusty. He comes back. Towards the cover, does a pretty good job of that as it looks like Garga and Bone. Looks like they're going to play this well. Yeah, Rusty, uh, Anthony slowed things down on B long as he, he got hidden as all uh, Retro was quick peeking him and just totally dominating his angle. Finally getting some backup here from Clay Baca and Retro just quick peeking, getting information. Bone Chop watching the flank. Retro peeking again, gets him. Looking for Anthony. Anthony not hitting those shots. Retro getting a three-piece there on B long. Oh. Wow. I I'm mean, really quad kills today so far off the rip. I can already tell this is going to be a very, very beefy game. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing Rusty with a four piece, uh, Retro there with a three piece. And I mean, just 
It looks like the offense is pushing and pushing in groups, which is good, but they're not hitting their shots. They're allowing to go down in uh, big groups like that. I'll tell you who is clutching. I'll tell you who is in the shots. Rusty. <laughs> Rusty yes. ain't been doing it all here. As looks like Sheldorino's going to be pushing a little bit aggressive here. Throws that flash. Anthony gets flashed in return. Rusty might be able to do a slow peek off of this one into mid. It's going to have to be careful, though, knowing that one is going to be on ramp. It looks like it's going to be a 1v1 against... Oh, it's Rusty! He's able to get the shutdown now. It looks like Skull is able to actually help him out in mid as he comes through down low. Off of metal. Looks like he's gonna be able to piece this off as Rusty is able to get the first elimination here. Skibo is able to peek, peek it up as well. Skibo looks like he has sight open. That does have that opportunity. Skibo is gonna be able to shut that down. Wow. Great job here. I mean, Prism is just really holding things down. They they got it figured out. They got their positioning figured out and they got the timings figured out. Offense really gonna have to figure out something uh to push past this because they're not even getting halfway across the map and they're getting uh they're getting pretty much dominated through that half part through oh, yeah, maybe one B. Well yeah, they have to. They have to be able to figure that out. Especially as it looks like it's gonna be a four man squad heading towards A side here. They're gonna have to play aggressive. And try to see if they can get something here. Sheldorino's going to throw out the first flash coming in on A long here. He's going to throw out a second. Vanny's going to be able to throw a nade. It might be catching Gargabug. Actually, no. He throws it a little too a little far. Long, little long. Little long. Little long. Rusty's able to pick up two. Question is, can he get Vanny's going to shut one down? But Gargabug's there for the clutch here. It's Rusty and Skibo are going to find him inside of sight here. No. It comes to shut down as Retro and Skibo shut it down for another, another game clutch. Yeah, great teamwork between Rusty and Skibo. Though Rusty staying inside A tunnels, waiting. Skibo coming around the corner from uh, the main side and just just pinching on him. He had nowhere to go while he was on the artifact out in the open. That was a pretty decent job of this. As it looks like we're back at it again. I think it's gonna be another. Uh, looks like it's gonna be another A side push here. Trying to have Anthony inside of mid control here is kind of one of those things that's been really just screwing them up here. It looks like Anthony can't beat that middle section here. Anthony is just unsuspecting as Rusty is going to be able to shut that down. Listen, they need to do a switch up. I think Sheldorino needs to be able to hold mid. And I think that's the team that they need as Sheldorino is going to be able to get the first elimination here into the site. Skull's trying to find it and gets the sh and gets the elimination. Jellerino's down. Skullhawk is going to be able to slow down this B push. Gargabot's going to peek this off of long here and is able to get the able to get the shots. Gargabot shuts it down. Clay and Garga looks like they finally might be able to get a, may, might be able to get a scan down. Yeah, 2v1 oh, 1v1 retro peeking it. Now Gargabot getting aggressive here as he holds the scanner as well. So Gargabot's just kind of looking down the mid. Bit exposed here. Retro looking for that peek does find it. As Retro shuts it down, Garga, you gotta be able to shut, you gotta be able to start the scan, man. You have the scan, you have the opportunity to force him to push. You just gave him a free peek there, buddy. Can't let him yeah. do that. Round starting. Yeah, Gargabot had plenty of time to get over there and put that scan in. I don't know if he was worried about being pushed, but his friendly just went down next to him. He might've thought they were getting pushed. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta have that uh, intuition to grab that scanner, go forward and put it, and put the pressure on the offense. Oh, beautiful grenade by Clay Baca right into Rusty's noggin. Beautifully done. Retro picking it's up Clay Baca. It looks like Skibo still not making it easy for them to even get on the B side. Skibo's able to pick up a double. Shutting down that entire side here as Anthony by himself. And is going to be able to push off mid here. He's going to go down towards ramp here. Anthony gets the first elimination, but it looks like he's going to be rotating out. It's not looking good, though, because Anthony does not have the scanner. So he has a massive advantage, though, as Anthony looks like he's going to be able to go towards the rotation. He'll go, though, goes back towards his spawn. <clears throat> yeah, scanner looks down like B really long, good. and you can see the defense on the minimap. Skibo over there holding things down, guarding that, and letting his teammates know that that's where it's at. So Anthony running around on A. Uh, his teammates seem to be telling him, you know, that the scanner went down B long. Uh, but Anthony seems to be on the other side of the map here. Maybe he thinks he has it. Maybe, maybe, maybe does he does he have scan? Maybe he. No, scanner's down B long. It's uh, you can see it on the oh, mini map, maybe, and uh, also maybe trying, to, maybe trying to rotate to a section where maybe he just doesn't. Maybe he can do it. Maybe Anthony thinks he has the scanner. Hold on, I think I think <laughs> he thinks he has the scanner. I really do. Hold on. <laughs> nope. 
Uh, Looks like he's going to be able to run this back down towards long. He's going to have to rush this and see if he can get a two-piece. If he can get the two-piece scan, he will be able to get it. Eskibo is going to be peek this down long, though. The confidence coming in on Eskibo. He's going to peek this again here. Let's see if they're going to be able to get that trade off. Eskibo, slight peeks off of this one. He's going to be able to get the first couple of shots here. The question is, does he connect? Eskibo is wow. going to look up top here. As Anthony is going to get shut down under underpass. Yeah, Anthony running out of time there. Had to push, um, but Hawk up top. Looking down into the uh, underpass does pick that up pretty easily, but Skibo doing a nice job just holding him back, you know, keeping the pressure on, knowing that he's about running out of time. And it looks like the offense going to split up here a little bit. Still four men heading over to the B side. You got one going to the garage. Looks like Anthony's going to try to push his luck with Sheldarino. They're going to try to take mid. Rusty has been holding that down without any trouble at all. Let's see how this is going to work for him. Hasn't been working for him before, but you never know. Third or fourth time's a charm as Red Show's <laughs> going to be able to shut that down off of B-Long. Two and mid. Clay Baca is already up on ramp here as Clay Baca ends up getting shut down here. Anthony looks like he's going to be able to get to the first peak. Shut Retro gets shut down. Yeah, nice shot by Anthony. Anthony. Good pressure. Anthony will be able to go through the reload, though. Doesn't really have anybody down long. Rusty's going to be able to throw the nade a little too far. As Rusty still peeks it and shuts him down regardless. Oh, man. Rusty Does Rusty clearly, not play anywhere? Rusty, Rusty is clearly all over us. The MVP of this team, 19 and 4. I just want to let you guys know that. Oh, that's the, that's the wrong one. 19 and 4. <laughs> Love it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Got three guys on their team with double digits so far in the kills. As now we have a massive five man push uh, from the offense. Different sides. They did the old side swap. Got to put that through there. We'll get the team swapped here. As Rusty's still taking mid on offense, as he would do the same on defense. Four man push going B long here. The rest of the team without Rusty. What a beautiful flash. And Clay Baca getting one. Flash coming through. Shell Dorino picking up one. And the oh, gunfight. going to be right behind, though. Clay the gunfight. Corner, though, as Retro's going to be able to push that out here. But as we said before, we know Rusty is one of those people that can clutch this up. The king of the mid currently, Rusty. It's going to be able to show him how to get it done here. Ladies and gentlemen, first pistol round. Close coming in, though, as Retro shuts down Anthony. Rusty gets the first elimination off of mid. Retro is able to pick up one. Scan has already started here, and now Rusty has that pressure. He's going to have to push in on, though. Beautiful piece coming in, expecting for people to be holding this corner. Retro is going to be on mags up top. He's going to see maybe if Retro is going to be able to peek this out. Doesn't actually know if Retro is going to be down low, though. Retro is going to have to force those shots, though, which is going to which is going to find him. Best Bone Chop is going to be able to push in and get a little bit aggressive, though. Gets the first shots as Rusty shuts it down. Retro and yeah. Manny. Yeah, beautiful teamwork there. One on top, one below. Had all the angles covered. Nowhere for Bone Chop to go. And match point already here for Prism. Get ready. Love to see it coming in as this team is absolutely decimated. Unfortunate, though. Sheldarino leading this team with nine eliminations. Sadly, 10 deaths, though. But, man, Skibo with 10. Four Retro with 14 and 21 eliminations coming in from Rusty. Absolutely being the MVP for their team here. Just absolutely isolating the situation. Been playing it so well here. Flashes, smokes come in. Hawk peeks this out. Bone Chop is not prepared for it. As Skibo and Skull is going to be able to push in. And they have the full all the way to themselves, except for Gargoyle. Gargabot's going to be holding this on the back stretch. Doesn't actually know as Gargabot ends up getting, getting shut down. Full team wipe as Clay Baca by himself. Got yeah, to figure out what he can do here. Not looking good. He knows he's going to have to peek this out as he gets the first shots and just stretch out. Just, I mean, just shuts it down and ladies yeah. and gentlemen, came over. I mean, did we, did we expect anything less? I'm sorry to say this, but man, that no, was just... That was good, man. That was real good. Real good work by Prism. Um, Prism's been around for a while, and we've seen a lot of them in the past in the pugs and the lobbies, and um, they're a really good team, really good, strong team, and going up against Meow Pew Pew, um, it's going to be tough for Meow Pew Pew, and it, that was seen uh, just dominating, right? uh, Prism just dominating map one here, 11 to 1. It's tough. It is sometimes, tough. Sometimes you roll teams. Sometimes it rolls you. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that and the that, truth, man? <laughs> it's just what it is sometimes. It's just, yeah. it's tough sometimes. Yep. Life ain't fair sometimes, you know?
But I'll tell you what, folks, we'll jump to a quick intermission. Uh, this will be quick. We'll try to pick up another match that's continuing on and still going. This one was rather quick, so I would imagine there's still some still rolling. So we'll be back in just a few seconds, hopefully in another matchup for you. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look. We are right back. <laughs> 